Now in this lesson we're going to be looking at some log rules and then also we're going to solve some log equations. Firstly the log rules though. The first log rule is that the log of A plus the log of B is equal to the log of A times B. Well we must make sure that we have a, a consistent base. Okay, In this case we've got log to the base M. The second rule, the log of A minus the log of B will equal the log of A over B, where again we have the same base right throughout, which is M. And the third rule, the log of A to the power of R is equal to R times log A. And a good way to remember that is that uh, that indice there, that R, just jumps out to the front. Right out. We're given that log of B is equal to 0 0.83 and that log C is equal to 2.14. We're asked to find firstly log of B over C. It's a division. So we, we're going to use this idea where we can write it. Okay, On the right side we have a, the log of a division, the log of a quotient, and on the left side we can, we can write it as two separate logs with a subtraction. So we can write that as log of B minus log of C and since log of B is 0 0.83 that's what we'll write and we're subtracting the log of C which is 2.14 so we're going to subtract that and that simplifies to be uh, sorry, negative 1.31 very good part B which asks to find the log of BC to the power of 3 well firstly we're going to uh, use this rule because we have an indice there Okay, that, that 3, the BC to the power of 3, that 3 we can write at the front. Okay, we can just take it out to the front and we write it as 3 times the log of BC. Now that log of BC, we can also break that up using the first rule we looked at. On the right side there, it's a product, log of AB we can write as log of A plus log of B. So we can write then 3 outside of log of B plus the log of C. Very good, just write our 3 down again. Now log B we're given as 0 0.83. We're adding the log of C which we're told is 2.14. And then we just need to simplify that. Our final answer then 8.91. Very good, so there's a couple of ideas uh, using the log rules there. We'll now move on and, and do some work on solving log equations. Well much like x squared is the opposite of, of the square root of x and x cubed is the opposite of the cube root of x then the log of x is the opposite of exponential x so the log of x is, e, is opposite to e to the x and just on the calculator note that uh, log ex will be written on your calculator as ln x okay? and not only on the calculator but, but often in equations uh, in books and so on so we're asked to solve 2 log x is equal to log of 10 minus 3x. Well the 2 log x can be rewritten. We can take that 2 from the front and we can put it up as your indice. So we can have the log of x squared on the right side equals the log of 10 minus 3x. Now what we need to do, the reason we did that, well now we can get rid of those logs. We'll write them down. To get rid of those logs we put an e there, an exponential, and the e will cancel out with a log on both sides. All right, e is the opposite of, of log. So what are we left with? We're simply with, left with x squared equals 10 minus 3x. Well that's a quadratic, so it's a quadratic, we'll bring everything to one side, end up getting x squared plus 3x minus 10 equals 0. We look to factorize now, end up getting x plus 5 times x minus 2 equals 0 and therefore x equals minus 5 or x equals 2. Now with these log equations you must check your answers. We must check back in the original equation because sometimes we will come up with some invalid answers. So we substitute back in there. Firstly we'll check out x equals minus 5. Well if we put that into our original equation on the left hand side we'd be trying to take the log of negative 5, well we can't do that. So that's no good. x equals minus 5 won't do. You can't take the log of a negative number. If you checked x equals 2, 
All right, checked it into both sides there. No dramas. That'd work. So we write. Therefore, x equals 2 is the only solution. So we must make sure that we write that as our final step. Question 2. We're asked to solve 2 log to the base 6 of 3 equals log to the base 6 of x minus log to the base 6 of 5. Well, again, what we'll do to, to simplify that log, rather than having 2 log, we'll throw that 2 up to the top, make it an indice. So we'll have log to the base 6 of 3 squared equals... Now on the right side, if you have a log take away another log, we can write it as a, as a single log. It'll be equal to the log base 6 of x over 5. So remember, if you have two logs subtracting, we can write it as a single log with a division. Now at this stage, notice both sides have log to the base 6. Well, log to the base 6 of 3 squared equals log to the base 6 of x to the x over 5. So hopefully you can realise that the 3 squared must match up with the x over 5. They must be the same. So therefore, 9 on the left, which is 3 squared, is equal to, on the right, x over 5. And simplifying that, just multiply both sides by 5. Therefore, x equals to 45.